Hey guys, I'm Lubeski. Welcome to Lou's Playtime. I'll be doing playthroughs of just whatever takes my fancy. So first up, we're going to go through Gone Home. It's just a new game that's not long out. So let's just jump straight in. So... Yep. So I haven't played this a lot of the way through yet. I played the first couple of minutes just to see what the graphics and things are like before I actually started playing it for real. And so far I have avoided any spoilers, not watched any playthroughs or anything, so it's all new. Hi mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. June 7th, 1995. I was 10 in 1995. Giving away my age. Anyway, sorry. So, Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland, June 6th, 1995. So, technically, I was 9. I'll be 10 in a month. This is a pretty decent porch. Let's have a look. Mm, definitely a blue cup. No. Ooh, Christmas duck. Is that expensive for a Christmas duck? I don't know. I've never had one. Sorry, duck. Oh. Bam. I'm oh, sorry. Let's put you back. I will shut the doors. Ooh. That would have been handy a couple of seconds ago. Nothing else to look at, kids. Right. Ooh, a note. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it's impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone or mum and dad to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Mm. Hello, Sam. This hallway is about the same size as our entire flat. It's huge. Alright, let's go digging through some drawers. I actually think I have that very same paint swatch. I'm not even lying. I like this one. Just in case you are wondering. Directions to work from New House. I thought I said from nowhere. It's pretty descriptive. Alright then. An hour and ten minutes? Question mark? Exclamation mark? I was like saying explanation mark just because I know it's not right. Stuff. Stuff. Oh, some screen tear. Nothing. I'm going to be considerate and actually close the the doors because I don't want to look like it's been ransacked. Movers. We've only got 
two TVs. That's a bit strange. Jeez, oh. I don't know, is that normal time for a normal time? A normal price for moving? Can't say that. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Okay, so... Do you know why I'm looking at everything? If you can do something with it, I will do it. I'm going to flush the toilet. Just in case there's just stinky in there. Let there be light! Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Brilliant. Mm. Anything else? Oh. Shake it, Ben. Shake it, Ben. Lovely pen. Yep, it's definitely a pen. Sam, Daniel from the old neighbourhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Totally valid reason for hanging out with someone. Awesome. Yeah, we're going this way. This house is ridiculous. I'm not going to read out everything that comes up, I'm pretty sure. We can all read together. Like adults. box of coloured pencils. Is she going into nursery? Nursery is like kindergarten over in the UK. Um, it's also the name for somewhere you can buy plants. Which is good to know. Awesome. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Right. 
All right, so we picked up a postcard. Oh, hey, it's one of the postcards I sent. Um, from Sweet Patty. Why does it say grab photo? Why can't you gently lift photo or gently pick photo up? So harsh. What's her name? Is that Sam? Looks like she's got pink hair, it's pretty cool. I had pink hair once. I liked it. Oscar Doc Mason. Died peacefully last month in his home. I'm guessing. I'm going to guess it's this home. Blah 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 blah. blah. Meth destruction at 1 pm. Nephew, Terence Greenbrier. Oh, Greenbrier. So he was the uncle. And this was his house. Oh, jeez. Oh. They've never been touched. I know it's just a game. Calm down. Let's grab the pencil and do this with it. What, 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 Anyway, let's close the drawer. Oh, I really love pitch black rims. Love them. Ooh. It smells of rich mahogany. A leather. Deficiencies, which need correcting. Wiring in the house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. Jeez, oh. Did they have wires 100 years ago? Unpredictable. Basically, it's just saying that the lights flicker on and off. Unpredictably. Awesome. Oh, Black Cat Electrical. It's quite a cool name for a company. Let's shut the drawer like nice, tidy people. Now, I know people have had mixed reviews about this game. Some think it's a bit creepy that you can search through things. Some people were expecting it to be a horror. Do you know what? Just play it. And if you're not sure, look up descriptions and things and see if it's going to be the kind of game that you would enjoy ah. before. But honestly, I've been looking forward to this game coming out for so long. And looking through things is just a bonus. Because one of my favourite games ever is Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. So searching for things is just something that I love to do. So I, no, I don't feel like a complete creep for looking through this stuff. It's acting like Batman there as if I was going to find some fingerprints. And it's obviously just a glass. Calm down. Some... Conspiracy stuff. Hmm. Interesting. GFK. Poisoned. Kidnapped. Injured. Dead. He's definitely dead. Now it comes together. That's actually something I could probably read. And there's a scary thunder. Right on cue. Go on the chair. Right, come on, look. That'll do it. 
shouldn't have done that if I tried. We'll come back to that. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked his sleep from his eyes looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. Ooh. More. Oh, he vomited onto his feet. I've done that before. It's not pleasant. Oh, his bare feet. No. Mm, sick flick toenails scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer. F That's quite descriptive. I don't even know if I could tell you what polymer fibre tunic was. It doesn't sound very sexy. A tunic. I have to wear a tunic at work for my uniform, so I'm guessing. Matter transference operator. Interesting. Is this just like three pages of opening chapter of a book? Three different ways? The star ship. Archimedes. Predestinates. I have this really weird thing where if I'm reading things over, like especially news articles and magazines or whatever, not so much the internet because just then they can write on the internet, especially Wikipedia and things. But if a van with some sort of advert goes past, I always want to find a mistake on it, a spelling mistake or the wrong grammar, it, it fills me with some sort of strange satisfaction. Yes, I'm a weirdo. What's your point? Oh, sneaky doors. Sneaky, sneaky. And we'll shut them. Alright, obviously I'm going to come back to this at some point. Why is it not flush up against the wall? It's annoying. Right, we'll go in here. More library, it would seem. This place must cost an absolute ton to to run. Right, so I'm at the back of the, the library study room now, which is freaking awesome. I would love something like this. Although it would just be filled with comics and game. Oh, a game room. Anyway, so I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for sticking about if you did watch it till the end. Um, thanks for even watching. If you want to see more, there will be more. I will get some more up not too far from now. So thanks guys and I'll catch you next time.